Hi, how's it going? Just going to show you how to play Human Racing by St. Vincent today. Uh, just before we jump into it, I'll let you know that you can support me at Patreon. That's linked below, as is a video explaining what Patreon is if you're unsure. And that's where you can go to get all of my tabs if you're after that and a few other things. Um, I'll let you know that you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And I've also got a Spotify playlist that I've put together that's got all the songs I've made tutorials for in it. So you can have a listen through that and see if you want to learn anything. Also, if you could like and subscribe, that would be great and I'd really appreciate that. Um, I'll also let you know that I've just done a quick cover of this song, link below, just so you can see all the parts fitting together and watch the hands. Um, so yeah, that's all there, linked in the description. But now that's out of the way, let's jump into the lesson for this tune. Alright, so we're just in standard tuning, but we've got a capo on the 4th fret, and all finger picked this one. Um, so in terms of sections to learn, we've got an intro that just happens at the start of the song, doesn't repeat, then we've got sort of um, a few sections, section A, B, C, and D um, throughout the bulk of the song. Um, we've got an interlude that happens a couple of times, and then we've got the outro. So I'll go through section by section, give you an example of each part, and then I'll teach it to you. All right, so we'll start with the intro, and the intro goes like this. All right, so we start off with this little move. So on, so you're going to pluck with our thumb, open fifth string, hammer on the third fret, then we've got two on the fourth string, back to three on the fifth, so you get, and then we're going to pull off from three to open on the second string with our third finger. So that's the first little bit. Then we just slide these over two frets. So third fret on the fifth string and also third fret on the second string. Slide them over two frets up to the fifth fret. So we've got, then we do this, which is on the second string, three, pull off to one, then pull off to open. Then open third string, hammer onto two. Open second string, then two, pull off to open on the third string. So you get. So the first half. And then the second half of the intro is exactly the same. We just don't do the pull off at the very end. We just hold the second fret. So it's exactly the same. hold on to that note at the end and that's the only difference and that is the intro all right so then we're into uh, when the singing starts happening and so I've broken this section down into yeah four smaller sections and section a goes like this So we're starting with pretty much a C major 7. So 3rd uh, fret on the 5th string, 2nd fret on the 2nd string. This is all relative to the capo, of course. And then open 3rd and 2nd strings. And in terms of your, your right hand, your strumming hand, or left hand if you're left-handed, um, we're going to have thumb on the 5th string and then one, one finger per string. So 4, 3, 2. got that sort of thing. Right, so we're going to pluck 5th string, and then pluck the sort of rest of the chord, so strings 4, 3, and 2. Then we're going to go open 5th string, hammer onto 3, and then pluck the rest of the string to get that, that sound. Then we've got this bit. So we're going to keep our third finger down on the third fret fifth string. But now we're going to put our pinky down on third fret second string. So you're just holding those two down. 
And then we've got this little, this little rundown, which is after the, you're holding down the, the third fret on the fifth and the second, you go pull off from one to open on the second string, then two to open on the third string, then second fret, fourth string, and open first string. So that's the first half of section A. And then the second half. Just got one chord shape and it's just got a bit of a funky rhythm going on. Um, so we're holding down fifth fret from the capo on the sixth string. And fifth fret from the capo on the fourth string and sixth fret from the capo on the third string. You can hold it down like that if you find that easier. So all we're doing is lifting this low finger off, just doing some hammer-ons, and then just picking individual notes with our right hand. Um, so all it is, you pluck string six, then strings four, four and three together, then you open, open six, hammer onto five, and then the, then strings three and four. Just sort of alternating between holding down the fifth fret on the sixth string and doing hammer on between those higher higher notes there. Um, so that's like the second half of section A, and then you just repeat it again. So you do first half, second half, first half, second half. And that is the entirety of section A. All right, so once you've played through that little bit, you get to what I've called section B. And section B goes like this. All right, so no repeats in this section, just playing through what we've got. So we're gonna slide up to this dominant seven chord here. So fifth fret on the fifth string from the capo, and we're going to be hop, sort of barring that across the middle few strings. And we've got seventh fret from the capo on the fourth string, and also on the second string. So you've got five, seven, five, seven on strings five, four, three, and two. And in terms of picking, all we do is we go bass and then top to bottom. So string two, three, four, five. Just play through that and just finish when you get back to that top string. Then we do. So this is exactly the same as the second half of section A. We're just down one string, or sorry, one fret now. So we're in fifth fret, now we're just starting fourth fret. So we start off on a hammer on, is the only difference. So open, hammer on to four, and then we've got uh, fourth fret on the fourth string, and fifth fret on the third string. And same funky rhythm going on there, we just start on, an, on a hammer on. And then we pretty much slide this back one, except we turn it from a dominant seven into a major seven. So, and same, uh, Picking pattern here. So we're now holding down uh, fret three on the sixth string and then fret four on the fourth and third. So you're going from this to this. And again, same funky picking pattern going on. So you've got the sixth string and the top of the chord hammer on from the open 6th string, then top of the chord, 6th string, top of the chord, hammer on, top of the chord, 6th string, top of the chord. Uh, 
um, and that is section B. I'll play through it again just slowly. Two, three, four. <laughs> So that was section B. Section C now is just the short uh, sort of descending chord arpeggios that we've got. And it just sounds like this. So it's just three, these three chords here. So we start off with this, this chord shape. So seventh fret from the capo on the fifth string with your second finger, eighth fret from the capo on the 4th string with your 3rd finger, 6th fret from the capo with your 1st finger on the 3rd string, and then 8th fret from the capo on the 2nd string with your pinky. So you get this. And in terms of uh, picking for all of these 3 chords, we're just going like string 5, 4, 3, 2, 3, 4. So it's just like bottom to top, back to bottom. So that's chord 1. Next chord is the first chord of the previous section, section B. So we're barring across the fifth fret in the middle four strings, and we've got seventh fret from the capo on the fourth string, and also on the second string. And again, low to high. Just do that. And then the third chord of this section, we've got fourth fret from the capo, fifth string, then fifth fret on the fourth string, 4th fret on the 3rd string, and 5th fret on the 2nd string. And again, just pick these low to high, back to low. So you get... And that is section C. Right, the next part to learn is section D, and it goes like this. So it sort of changes time signature here, changes the feel coming out of those, those chords there. Um, so just watch out for that when you're playing along, it can trip you up. But this bit's pretty simple, we've just got a major chord shape, move down, and just a bit of picking going on. So we're going to hold down 2nd fret from the capo on the 5th string with our 1st finger. And I just flatten my third finger out over the fourth fret on strings two and three, but you can um, have one finger per string if you prefer. So we just go. So we're going to pluck the bass note with our thumb, so fifth string, and then hold down fourth fret on the second and third strings and just pluck them together. So you go bass, high, high. Then we just move the bass note down to the sixth string. So second fret on the sixth string. Keep the other fingers where they were. So we just do that. And just at the end of this chord, we go. So we're just sort of doing a shortened version of the, the pluck. Just jumping quickly to that bass note on the fifth string, second fret, and just plucking strings two and three individually at the end there. Then we just move this chord shape down, exactly the same chord shape, just down one fret. So we're now holding fret one on the fifth string and third fret on the 2nd and 3rd strings, and we just do this sort of a bit shorter this time. Exactly the same little picking pattern here. So we go bass, top 2, or strings 2 and 3, then move the bass down to the 6th string, 1st fret, and then we do that quick. Quick little move there, and then to finish off, we just go. So 
So all that is, is open fifth string, second fret on the second and third strings, and then open first string. And just do that four times. And that is section D. Um, so then we get to the interlude, and this is where like the trumpet comes in and does that little that little um, jazzy bossa sort of um, interlude. Um, and pretty similar chords to what we play early on in section A. Well, very identical actually, just slightly different rhythms. So the interlude goes like this. One, two, three, four. So all we're doing is holding down the bottom of our C major 7. It's actually just a C chord. So we've got 3rd fret on the 5th string, 2nd fret on the 4th and open 3rd string. And we're just going... So we're just taking that 2nd finger off, exposing the open 5th string, putting it back onto 3rd fret. that then we go to that second chord that we learn in section A and so we've got fifth fret on the sixth string fifth fret on the fourth string and sixth fret on the third string and we just go so it's a bit of a simpler rhythm in terms of picking so we just go bass top of the chord then open sixth string and then repeat and that is the interlude um, so that is pretty much all of the first sort of two thirds of the song and all we've got to learn now is the outro and the outro sounds quite tricky like you're moving around all over the shop but it's actually pretty simple we're just doing the same thing repeated and just changing one note between the first and second chords, and then between the third and fourth chords, we're just changing position, but doing the exact same thing with our fingers. So the outro goes like this. top there and repeat. Alright, so we start out on our third finger, fourth fret on the fifth string, second fret on the fourth string, and we go. So we're holding down that root note, or the bass note, sorry, on the fifth string. Let that ring out. Then we just go two on the on the fourth string, two pull off to open, two pull off to open on the third string. 2 pull off to open on the 4th string again, hit that note that we're holding down, so so far we've got, then we go 2 pull off to open on the 4th string and then on the 3rd string again, so that's the first half of this chord, then we just do this little sort of stuttery start to the second half of this chord, so we just hit um, 2 on the 3rd string, then we go two pull off to open, still on the third string, two pull off to open on the fourth string, hit that note that we're still holding down with our third finger, then two pull off to open fourth string and two pull off to open third string. So the first chord sounds like this. Then we do the exact same thing, we just change this note to this note. That's the only difference. Our first finger is doing all the exact same pull-offs that we do for that first chord. We've just got a different bass note. So it's just... So that's all it is. Exactly the same. Just move that note to there. Third chord, exactly the same as the first chord. So we're just moving our finger back to that. Exactly the same. 
And then the fourth and final chord is just this, but we just shift everything over one fret. So now we go. So basically, wherever I said fourth fret, that's now fifth fret, hold that down. And wherever I said second fret, pull off to open, now just change that to third fret, pull off to open. Exactly the same. Um, and then you repeat that, and that's the whole outro. Um, and that's all the guitar parts to this song. Uh, thank you so much for watching and listening. Hope you enjoy playing along with that one when you get it down. Big thanks to my Patreon supporters, Rennie, Eddie, and Elliot. Really appreciate your support, guys. Um, like I said at the top of the video, you can support me on uh, Patreon, like those guys have done. You can get tabs and stuff. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and that Spotify playlist I mentioned earlier. If you could like and subscribe, that would be great. But that's it for this one. We'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.